Hi everyone, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, and I'm coming on to share a couple things with you um, this morning. First of all, someone was asking what punch I used for the Christmas tree on these little tags that I showed yesterday. And so I just wanted to come on and actually show you the punch. This is an EK Success Punch. I personally bought this at the thrift store. Um, so you could try looking on eBay or something like that, but any small decorative Christmas punch would work to make tags with. So it doesn't have to be a tree. Uh, the other one that I used was this snowflake punch from Martha Stewart. So I just thought I would show you those. And now is the time of year when they're going to start putting sets of little Christmas punches out for tag making. So it's a really good time to start looking at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, um, AC Moore, whatever your local big box craft store is. Um, and you can usually find all sorts of different um, Christmas themed punches to use. Uh, what I like about punches when you're making tags at Christmas is it's very quick. Like to put this tag together, I think took me a total of maybe three minutes. And that's from the beginning to the end. Um, because really, you're just making three punches, uh, you know, two hearts the tree punch. Um, I already had this ready and I'm just basically tying it on, um, tying on the ribbon and then adding this red ribbon around the green checked ribbon. So these go really quick and that's why I like using punches, which most of you are probably aware of. So I wanted to share that really quick um, just to help out. Uh, uh, I think it was a newer viewer that, that asked yesterday, um, left a comment. So I'm so bad at remembering everybody's names, but anyway, whoever it was that asked, um, I hope that helps you out. So I'll set those aside for now. Um, and then I thought I would show you really quick this morning how to make this Believe tag. Um, I think a lot of people have these Heidi Swap dies in their stash, and I got this on clearance. Um, I lucked out and saw this, I forget, I think it was at Michael's or something, but... I got a really good deal on it and so I used that die and then I wanted to design a tag around it so this is what I created and um, I'm going to give you the measurements I'm calling this the believe tag Heidi swap believe tag and first you're going to cut your craft card stock I would cut it at seven and a half by two and a quarter but the finished size of the tag is going to be seven and a quarter by two and a quarter um, and the reason why you're going to cut that extra little bit, seven and a half inches by two and a quarter, is because when you go to make this die cut, um, you need a little bit of space to, to line that up and cut it. Um, but you're going to cut it at around seven and a quarter inches. And it really doesn't need to be perfectly exact because there's a little bit of wiggle room um, for the size of this die cut on here. So, um, but that just gives you a baseline to look at it, okay? And then... Um, this gingham piece right here is two and a half inches long by two and a quarter inches wide and you're going to score it at one and a quarter and what that does is it allows you to wrap the gingham around the tag and you can kind of see um, you know how that looks on the back but it makes for a nice finished tag okay and then this little tag here um, is just a little uh, I think it's a tailored expressions die cut. Um, and then the, a gift for you sentiment it is from a paper tray ink uh, friendship jar holiday fillers stamp set, I believe. So, um, but you could use any tiny tag, one of the Lily of the Valley ones, or any sentiment from any, you know, to add a little tag there. Really, you're just adding something else to draw the eye. So, um, Anyway, so that is what I'm calling the Heidi Swap Believe Tag. And you'll notice that I did add a line of glitter glue here. And then down where I made the scallops, I edged this with glitter glue. Okay? And then let that dry overnight. So, and then on the Believe itself, I added this little um, holly piece. And this is from, geez, I don't know. This might be Hobby Lobby or... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Hobby Lobby Christmas. So it's just a little glittered up piece of holly. But maybe this was Michael's. I'm not sure. I just look for them when they're 50% off 
or if I if I'm lucky after Christmas you get them at 70% off if they have any left but um, I just always have these on hand in different sizes because I use them on a lot of my tags so so that is the um, the model of the tag and I hope I'm close enough for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing but um, so the first thing I would do then is to just glue this piece on to the tag okay so we're gonna do that really quick if I can find my glue let's see I think does this have any left in it it's pretty empty um, so I'm just gonna put some glue into the die cut on both sides and then sandwich it onto the paper here. I'm filming with a different camera today in hopes that I'll have a little bit better luck, but it is a little bit harder for me to work this way um, because I don't have an overhead way to hold uh, my Canon camera. It's just too heavy. So um, anyway, you do that and then take your Believe die cut and you're going to glue that on. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto the back of this and the way I do you, you could run this through a Xyron but I I find that just adding some little dots of glue um, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing because I'm probably not in frame but I just add some little dots of glue you just need enough to kind of secure it so you don't need a lot just some little dots all the way through and then we're gonna lay this on here and press down. I don't, I'm not very much in frame. I apologize, you guys. <laughs> ah, the joy of doing tutorials. Okay. But people have said that they do like to see them, so I'm trying. <laughs> as long as you guys can put up with me. <laughs> so, all right. So then you glue that on, and you're going to let all of this dry, obviously. Um, I'm not taking time to let things dry on camera. Um, but then you're going to punch your hole to make uh, room for your, I'm just using a little heart uh, hole punch, and you're just going to punch your hole. And I try to center things as best I can. Okay. And then through the hole, you're going to thread your ribbon, and then last but not least, after you have your ribbon threaded, take your crochet thread and add your little um, extra tag. And I usually put a piece of dimensional underneath this once after I have it tied on. Okay, and then the very last thing you would do then is just add your glitter glue to the two, well really wherever you want to put it. I just put a line here and then I added it to the end. Okay, and then you would just let everything dry. So it's a very simple, clean cut tag. And then if you wanted to, you could put a to and from on the back here. So however you wanna do it. But that is what I'm calling my Heidi Swap Believe tag. And what I like about this is you're really just cutting strips of paper for these two pieces. So it goes really quick. Um, you don't even need a die cut machine except for the Believe, okay? And the less die cutting you do, the faster a tag is made. Die cutting takes time. Um, but what's neat is if you're making a series of tags, always do all your die cutting first, get everything ready, um, get all your pieces ready, and then have an assembly party where you just assemble them all at one time, okay? Because that'll make it go quicker for you. So um, that was my Believe tag, so thanks for taking a look at that. And I hope that's enough information for you to be able to reproduce it if you want to. And let me close up my glue here so it doesn't dry out. Um, just as a quick review, this is glue from Hobby Lobby that costs $1.99, at least here in Seattle it does. And um, I do like this glue. It dries very well. Um, the only thing I will say is you need to use it very sparingly because it, it does dry harder than the Tombow glue. So it's great for um, kind of heavier paper crafting product projects, um, but you need to use it sparingly because it, do, it does dry hard. Um, 
if that makes sense. Whereas the Tombow dries more gently, I guess, is, I don't know how to put it, but anyway, but it is a very nice glue. So I thought I would share that. Um, and then last but not least, when I was out at, uh, I got to go shopping to Tuesday morning and I did that haul, I also stopped at um, another store at Daiso. And I don't know if you guys, this is the, um, this is the foam dimensional that I like to use a lot and it's from Daiso and it's a very thin um, layer of foam but I try I mail a lot of my cards and so I like to add dimension but it, it can't be too popped up or the mail won't accept it without extra postage so I use this foam tape a lot because it's a lower level dimension but it still does add dimension to your card and um, I'm down to my last roll so I had to go to Daiso and pick up more so um, I went to Daiso and I don't shop very often so when I go I, I bought four rolls and this will last me quite a while um, and then I'll go to Daiso again usually once I'm out <laughs> So I got those, and then while I was there, I, of course, looked around at what they had, and I make a lot of little girl um, stamps, and I thought these little bows would be cute to add to their hair. So this was there, um, and they're in kind of a mauve pink as well as a baby pink color. So I thought those were really cute, and I picked up a pack of those. And then I liked these. Um, there's a kind of a light purple and a green lace and I'm always looking for small trims for cards that I can glue as a strip um, oftentimes to create a, a grounding element on a card but um, I thought these were really sweet so I got a, the green and the purple were the two colors they had at my Daiso and then I saw these stamps or not stamps oh my gosh stickers and they're foiled balloons and I just thought these would be so fun for birthday cards or even to put on the outside of the envelope for birthdays. I like to decorate um, my envelopes, especially for like my nieces and nephews when I do birthday cards for them. Um, so I just thought these were so cute and I liked them so much I actually got two packs. So um, anyway, they're just really, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they're like foiled. Really cool. So, and then um, I got some washi tape there. You know, I love red. Red is like one of my favorite colors, red, aqua, light pink. And so I found this heart one, which I thought was adorable. A gingham red, which I just, for Christmas, these two are so cute. And this one too is a little red and pink striped. So I got three rolls of washi tape. And you can't beat Daiso for their price is $1.50, so I thought that was pretty neat. And then um, I also got this one, which has um, like cherry, let's see if I can open this for you. Um, to me, they look like apple blossoms or cherry blossoms or roses. So I just thought this was really sweet. Yeah, so I got that one too. So I guess I got four rolls of washi. And then I saw this um, cotton lace yarn. And the other night I was upstairs working on tags and I only have one roll of this. And uh, I like to keep it in the basement. So I keep bringing one up, take it back down. So I thought, oh, I'll get this and put it upstairs so that when I'm tying tags, if I'm sitting in front of the TV, I have an extra one upstairs. So um, this was in there. And uh, it's called Cherry Red Cotton Lace Yarn. Um, and it's a 20 weight thread, I believe, instead of being a 10. I think this is 10 weight. So this one is a little bit thicker, which is nice, I think. And it's really pretty. So those were my purchases from, uh, from Daiso. And then here again is that uh, the finish tag from my tutorial video where I got cut off. I put pictures of this up on Instagram yesterday, but just in case you kind of wanted to see it, um, here's the back. So I do add a white layer to the back and that's where I stamp my to and from and it sort of covers up where you've attached um, the fronds and everything. So that's how that turned out. Um, does that help a little bit? Maybe <laughs> have it like that. So 
I really liked um, the music paper, and I think I might make more of these. I just love music paper. Every time I see a tag on Pinterest made with music paper, I think, oh, I've got to make that. <laughs> so I finally made one. So this is how this turned out. And um, Anna White, I, she's on YouTube also. I, I can't remember if her channel is just Anna White. But uh, she's an impression obsession. She works on their design team, and she also designs stamps. Um, and she makes the most beautiful Christmas tags. If you ever get a chance to visit her blog, like if you just type in Anna White, and it's W-I-G-H-T on YouTube, you'll see some of the most beautiful Christmas tags. She has kind of a homespun feel, which is what I love. And um, anyway, I think you'd really enjoy seeing some of her stuff. So uh, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for taking a look. Bye now.